OpenAI quietly lifted the ban on using ChatGPT for military purposes. Now the neural network will be involved in the development of cutting-edge weapons. The Tesla Optimus robot has learned to fold t-shirts. Google's artificial intelligence outperformed doctors in providing primary care. The International Monetary Fund forecasted that the latest artificial intelligence will impact 40% of all jobs worldwide. These and other high-tech news are covered in one video. OpenAI quietly lifted the ban on the military use of ChatGPT. The company revised its policy, removing the explicit prohibition on the use of its technologies for military purposes. The new wording maintains a ban on causing harm and mentions the development of weapons, but does not impose a complete restriction on military applications. These changes have raised concerns among experts who point out potential consequences for security and ethics in military applications. Militaries around the world are actively adopting machine learning methods, despite security risks associated with handling classified data and AI hallucinations. Heidi Klaff, an expert in machine learning and autonomous system security, noted that OpenAI is well aware of the risks and harm associated with the potential military use of their technologies and services. Claff expressed concerns about security implications given numerous instances of bias and hallucinations in large language models. She emphasized that the use of these technologies in military operations could exacerbate harm and increase civilian casualties. While artificial intelligence currently cannot directly engage in violence and killings, there are numerous auxiliary tasks performed by artificial intelligence for military purposes. U.S. military personnel already use OpenAI technology to expedite document processing. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, directly involved in U.S. military operations, publicly announced that its analysts use ChatGPT. Even if OpenAI tools and military structures are used for tasks unrelated to direct violence, they indirectly contribute to military operations and harm to human life. Despite this, the Pentagon continues to seek the application of artificial intelligence. In November, Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks stated that artificial intelligence is a key part of a comprehensive approach to military innovation. However, she noted that most current proposals do not yet align with ethical principles. The Tesla Optimus robot has learned to fold t-shirts, but it is not autonomous yet. Elon Musk shared a video on X of Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus folding a t-shirt. However, he later clarified that the robot is operated by a human operator. Meanwhile, other companies such as Figure continue to advance artificial intelligence technologies for autonomous humanoids. To enable these robots to work in warehouses and factories, they need to be trained to learn. Some progress has been made in this regard. Recently, the Figure robot learned to make coffee independently by watching videos of humans doing it. Optimus undoubtedly possesses various skills, from dancing to tying shoelaces under human operator control. Its hardware allows it to confidently execute various movements akin to other humanoids. However, what the robot can do autonomously is far more important. Tesla has serious capabilities in artificial intelligence and autonomy. Therefore, it seems strange for them to release a video implying autonomy only to clarify 20 minutes later that the robot is controlled by a human. In the coming months and years, hundreds of such videos may emerge as humanoids gradually master basic abilities. They are likely to progress to more complex tasks and eventually autonomously perform tasks in dynamic environments. In 2024, humanoid robots may start working in warehouses and factory workshops, handling real-world tasks that were previously the domain of humans. Many companies are striving for this goal. However, teaching robots to learn is crucial to achieving this goal. The ability to walk on two legs is one thing, but the capability to take instructions and perform useful tasks is quite another. Google's artificial intelligence has surpassed the accuracy of primary care doctors. The chatbot proved to be more accurate than certified primary care physicians in diagnosing respiratory, cardiovascular, and other diseases. Interestingly, the artificial intelligence also demonstrated a higher rating in terms of empathy when communicating with patients. Today, medical students spend a significant amount of time learning to collect patient history and make initial diagnoses when people enter hospitals or seek medical attention in clinics. Various artificial intelligence tools are actively being developed as assistants in this regard. One such tool introduced by Google is a chatbot designed for conducting initial medical interviews with patients, as reported by Nature. The Amy chatbot was tested in comparison with 20 certified primary care physicians. In the initial stage, scientists did not work with actual patients. Instead, healthy individuals with a specific set of complaints and symptoms played the role of patients. In total, participants simulated 149 clinical scenarios. The communication occurred through a chat interface, and the participants were unaware of whom they were conversing with. 
Amy outperformed the accuracy of all six considered medical specialties of the physicians. Additionally, the artificial intelligence surpassed humans in 24 out of 26 communication quality criteria, including politeness, expression of care, honesty, and others. The International Monetary Fund predicts that artificial intelligence will impact 40% of the global job market. Kristalina Georgieva, the managing director of the International Monetary Fund, forecasts that artificial intelligence will affect 40% of jobs worldwide. Economies with advanced development will be more affected than those with emerging markets and developing countries. In most AI scenarios, it is likely to exacerbate overall inequality, and there is a possibility that some jobs will disappear entirely. Advanced economies face large risks associated with artificial intelligence, but also significant opportunities to harness its benefits compared to emerging market and developing economies, wrote Georgieva in her blog, citing recent IMF analysis on the matter. This is due to AI's ability to influence high-skilled jobs, Georgieva stated. In economies with advanced development, artificial intelligence may impact up to 60% of jobs. Approximately half of the available jobs may benefit from the implementation of artificial intelligence as it enhances employee productivity. At the same time, the other half of AI tasks can replace certain key responsibilities traditionally performed by humans. This could lead to reduced demand for labor resources, affecting wage levels and hiring volumes. In extreme cases, the disappearance of some jobs is possible. The IMF is not the only entity issuing cautionary warnings about artificial intelligence. In March, Goldman Sachs stated that artificial intelligence could disrupt more than 300 million jobs. At the CES 2024 Tech Exhibition, Hyundai unveiled the Mobin Courier robot with its standout feature being flexible wheels. The robot's massive wheels are bendable, but a hinged frame supports them from the inside, preventing them from permanently losing their shape. This design allows it to easily ascend and descend any staircase in its path. The new Mobin can operate for up to eight hours without recharging. The robot includes a large compartment for products located on a movable platform that adjusts its tilt level as needed. Mechanical couriers are already undergoing real-world testing, delivering orders on the streets of South Korea. At the CES 2024 International Exhibition in Las Vegas, SuperNow, an electric aircraft division of Hyundai, unveiled the SA-2 Air Taxi. The vertical takeoff and landing vehicle is designed for four passengers, capable of covering 64 kilometers on a single charge and flying at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. The first Hyundai Air Taxi concept, named SA-1, was introduced exactly four years ago at CES 2020. It was envisioned as a fully electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft suitable for various urban flight scenarios. To achieve the required specifications, the company's engineers opted for a tiltrotor design, an aircraft with rotors that rotate vertically during takeoff and landing. SuperNAL is responsible for developing urban air mobility solutions. Over the course of four years, the concept evolved into a full-scale electric tiltrotor with a V-tail and eight propellers, four on each wing, with a separate motor for each propeller. The front propellers tilt upward, while the rear ones tilt downward. Hyundai plans to use existing industrial facilities for mass production to maintain high quality without significantly increasing the cost. Certification for the SA-2 in the United States is expected to be submitted mid-year, with test flights scheduled to begin at the end of 2024. Supernal aims to officially launch its air taxi service in 2028. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.